guys, it's Kaydeja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to movie 6 of The Garden of Sinners, aka of the living recording. Okay, so going back to last week, even with the preview, I am still a little confused about what the fuck this is going to be about. Um, it seems like uh, Shiki's going to be going to school with uh, Miki's younger sister, so I wonder how that's going to go. But as, like, with this only being, like, I thought this was going to be maybe, like, an hour and 30 minute movie, but no, this one's an hour, so, it, like, even though it is an hour, I'm still cutting it into a part. This will be at the 39.50, hold on, because this thing is not all the way there. It's it still says thirty nine fifty six for me, but it's like almost at the forty minute mark, where um, Miki's sister and someone else I'm get it's the girl with the red hair I presume from when I was looking at this last night um, are at like the heat of their battle or at the start of their battle. So hopefully, like whatever the fuck is about to happen with these two, we get to know what the hell is about to happen. But I, honestly, with this one, I'm a little intrigued because we, as much as I love getting to see our trio into this series, I, I like to see other characters who still have something to do with our trio also get a focus. So this is going to be really interesting to see um, his sister be put in the front ringer as like the main character quote unquote possibly but who knows what the hell is gonna happen but yeah let's go ahead and get started with part one in three two one go btw the time slots will be in the description not the description the first comment below just in case because i don't want this to be like any other video that i've done specifically <clears throat> demon slayer movie we're not gonna talk about that because you know reasons but yeah Oh, that's pretty. Well, with your hair like that, you look like Rin. Hmm.
It's supposed to be like a fairy or something? She is cute, though. And see, even though you give me, like, this light-hearted, like, opening start, we know that's not going to happen, right? We're going to get a little dark and twisted. Come on now, this is the Garden of Sinners, perhaps. Like, Jesus Christ. So, you can't tell me that <laughs> it's going to be getting into some dangerous shit. Okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, you're in love with your brother, but thank God it's not to the point where it's, like, incest. Because, I mean, big no-no. Mmm. I mean, because y'all would be step-siblings. Because, yeah, you were adopted. <laughs> And girlfriend, but you know, <laughs> you know, uh, one thing I like about her already, she is very awkward, but it's cute. <laughs> I mean, she kind of gives me both like if Sakura and Rin like were just together, not not like that, please don't think of like that. Like, if they were just one, uh, like one freaking person and such, had a personality of Sakura, but also had a personality of Rin, that's her. Excuse me. <gasps> okay, so Shiki, you're being like your other counterpart from um Pretty Boy Detective Club. Uh, Pretty Boy Detective Club. Mayumi, you know, pretending to be a boy. I'm being a detective. Okay. <laughs> you know these two aren't going to get along, right? I mean... <laughs> Then what are you? <laughs> Let's hope and pray nothing happens to the dog because if something happens to the dog, I'm going to riot. Yeah, let's hope and pray nothing happens to the dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, keep them locked in there. So this would just be like an all girls school? I mean, because this is the same school that the girl went to that she was friends with that, you know, also had the mystic eyes as well. No, you know what it reminds me of? Um, oh my god, what is it? What's the word? Um... A nun academy? I think that's what it would be. Mm. You look like Yeah, he does. He does look like him. Bruh. <laughs> Except his eyes aren't as cold as him. So now you're going to say that it's a possibility that this dog that we're looking over is a fairy. Hold up, now we're going to think that the dog is killing people? Don't make me think about that. It's cold in here. Oh, what's that bitch with the red hair? Is it weird that she kind of gives me caster vibes? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's just me. I mean, 
kind of look like Mickey, but no, he looks more like the damn teacher who was freaking Cash Master in the Fate series. Like, dead ass, if you look at him, you just take the nice, pretty, good looking eyes and give him cold, fucking distinct eyes, and boom! Should y'all follow it? Just shut up and come on. Why is she staring back to her like that? Mm mm. Mm mm. Shaky. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, the last I eat, it was one. This is Pokemon music. <laughs> Wait, this is a Pokemon Elite Four or a gym. <laughs> Got a lot pick. Do you see another fairy? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, strange like what? Mm -hmm. hmm? 
Oh. <laughs> what if it's yeah, see? I was about to say right there, right there, right there. It's her fucking reason why these damn fairies doing that shit. See? Two and two equals four. See, something tells me they'll possibly return when they defeat this redheaded bitch. Seriously, over at night? <laughs> See, okay, I think when she fell in love with him was the night where they saw the um the stars doing the swir the swirly thing. Yeah, yeah, the circle thing. That had to be that first moment, either that or during the moment of her parents' funeral or parent funeral. Also, where's the dog? And burned it. It's 
Speaking of a fairy. See, hold up. This, I need time now. Fairy comes, this bitch right here. Of course you got something to do with it. But what the fuck? Uh, it's like, okay, then why? If she is doing something with the fairies, why is she doing it, essentially? Does she want to get people that she doesn't like out of her way? Or did, you know, Tachi Bana know something that only she knows? There's a lot of unanswered questions. And I feel like with this movie only being 59 minutes, it's not going to give me everything that I need. Okay, if she was like a little sister to you, quote unquote, why did, you know, did you have the fairies do what they did? It's her. Oh my god. Bitch, you say that, but um at the 39 minute mark where we're gonna be starting at, I mean what the 40, y'all are gonna be in a fight. And it might be to the death. Of course. And she didn't tell anyone. So, okay, teacher possibly raped her, was so upset about it and, tra oh, damn, traumatized by it that, oh, Taji Bani killed herself, and so Redhead over here just wants to get revenge. Oh, oh. Also, is that Nana Mizuki? Nana Mizuki, you the bad guy in this? Oh, damn. Mm. Yeah. 
Excuse me. So she must have left way before he came in. Um, wait, oh, no, 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 you hold up, no, <laughs> confused on that bit. What the heck just happened for him to change his mind? Was it because of Misa? <laughs> Did she? <laughs> uh, okay. God, hey, man, that's a shrimp done. She has to be, but where would she be, though? See, the last time she was there, everything was fine. And now she goes and everything's destroyed. Falling on like a lost little puppy. No, that's the second time.
Yeah, I think every week everything will be fine. Your sister got this. It's a persistent one, isn't he? Like, mm -hmm. like too much up in her business. Like, damn. Hmm? Cause how? I mean, he feels suspicious to me. I, I mean, like, ever since that little moment. But we'll talk about it. We're almost done with part one anyway. Mm, let's hope so. Oh, that's bullshit. The God's word, right? Oh, okay, never mind. Well, yeah, because that clue was kind of a little obvious, but I was like, oh, okay, maybe not, but. Mm.
about to use fairies as an attempt? I mean, we about to find out in a second, even though we about to pause. Okay. All right. This, okay, we're not even done with this movie yet. We got like 19 more minutes before I'm done with it. This still feels like it's missing a lot of things. There's a lot of like somewhat unanswered questions. Now, because it, it seems like to me almost like every movie is like that. But this one, even though we are not particularly done with it yet, this one out of the eight movies feels like it's the most with a lot of unanswered questions and such. I thought with this one, we would have got a little more time on certain things, but I'm guessing because... Um, maybe with the studio and the timing and it's like that they could only do a 59 minute thing but it, it's because like th there are points where like no matter what movie we're on to like it feels still i need to go read the source material to understand a lot of things now all right so understanding that yes mickey's younger stepsister is in love with him we we can all see that that was the obvious and the fact that she doesn't remember when exactly she fell in love with him. Now, God's word came in around the time of when Kaudu Tachibana-san died and when this girl, redhead bitch, Misa, um, was also trying to do something or get revenge on the situation of with Tachibana and the teacher and it's like that because the teacher ended up killing himself and such um interesting I i'm gonna point that out but still like like i said th it still feels like i don't want to say half ass but it feels half ass like oh god and, and just like seriously even saying that like i'm kind of mad at myself for even saying that because it's like e even though i'm not done with it yeah it just feels like the first 40 something minutes that i've watched you're, you're trying to give me everything, but you're still not giving me enough. There's still a lot of unanswered questions with it. Now, if, let's say, the point where Miki and his stepsister, the point when they were looking at this, um, the stars, you know, uh, rotating around, that's the word, Deja. <laughs> um, if that's the moment where she truly fell in love with him, or if it's the moment where, like, a parent or parents died, um, who knows, but... I think what with with this one and the relationship of this, like it, it still is incest. No, like one hundred percent. Even if she or he are are not the ones officially like kind of starting it and such. And even with Shiki saying, "Yes, yeah, she's a little pervert for this, that, and the third. I mean, even seeing her when they're younger and she's following him like a little puppy, and you know she keeps asking him like, "Why don't you cry?" And it's, yeah, I kind of wonder that myself. Why don't you cry? I mean, because like. The, the biggest thing is now I kind of want to know is, and, and I'm guessing we're not going to get this because we only really have two movies left. Um, will we get to see a moment with them, like with Miki younger before he met his stepsister? And it's because the, it feels like there is something there and they're not really kind of telling us what the hell it is. Now, in the next part, we could get something. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But the fact is, you know, Misa, Miss Redhead Bitch over here wants to kill the rest of class, <laughs> of this class, in order to get revenge or um, all this for Tachibana. I mean, it's not going to bring her back. Like, honestly, six movies in and nobody has learned if you try to sacrifice yourself it is not going to bring everybody back and it's not going it, it might make everything normal again but it's not going to bring everyone back come on let's talk about like you know the fake looking chino from last week and his sacrifice which still hurt me even till this day because i was like oh like no i thought he was gonna you know possibly be reborn and have a second chance no <laughs> but um <laughs> even like she keep taking the knife and the fact is i wonder how her and god's hand are gonna go but yeah we gotta wait until part two but go ahead and pause the video i will see you guys in one second for part two okay part two and three two one go Also, I didn't say this at the like little mini short of part one. I think the fact is that, you know, Toko um, not coming in to help honestly means that she trusts, you know, um, 
Miki's sister to do things on her own instead of always wanting to help. Because, like, Toko is, like, the trump card for them. Like, if they can't do it, then here comes Toko to save their asses. But sometimes they need to do it on their own. Him. So if we kill him, her power goes away, right? Yeah, but she still got you, though. Is she going to be eaten by the fairy flower? What the fuck? Well, damn. Mm. You know why? Why couldn't they have like a spinoff on Asuka? Cause she she's interesting. I mean, all the characters of in this series is interesting, but it would have been nice to have it. But I'm guessing it's a no. Let's thank God. Dog didn't die. Oh, God. Because if the dog would have died. You think she went back home?
I know you would just think that Shiki would say goodbye to her or something, but damn, I mean, Shiki, you, you Shiki, that's all. So, do you remember about when you first fell in love with your brother? Or your stepson? <laughs> Please tell me that's not it. I, I swear to God, if if this is it. We got 11 minutes left. What the hell are you going to put in 11 minutes? Okay, thank God. So that person had to be their uncle? Well, it would be her uncle, his dad. Mm. I get that. You fell in love with them. You're not going to end it on that, are you? You motherfuckers. Hold up. No, no, no. There's still a lot of... Uh, there is no... <laughs> there's nine minutes left in this movie. There's still a lot of unanswered shit. Oh, okay. This one was good. Really good. But still, like I said in part one. This felt half-assed. This felt like there was still a whole bunch of crap that was left out because of time consuming and maybe, I don't think maybe they were probably rushing to get this film out, but it still feels like there should have been more. I think this officially is now the second shortest movie out of all the movies as of right now or the episodes and such, but it just feels like it re really, truly feels half-assed. And I, I kind of was expecting more about it. I mean, because of the fact is, it is about 
his stepsister and she's one of those characters who when I first saw her I was like oh we may get something out of her I was expecting like maybe at least an hour and 30 minute episode or movie-esque about her but still that's why it's almost like at the same time wanting okay let's do a spin-off on her she seems like a very interesting character and you want to know what else happened to them after they lost the person who was important to both of them and eventually leading up to the point where they met both Toko and Shiki and such. But still, I get it if it's with time consuming plus money, budget issues, um, usually what the head of whatever company, any anime, any movie series, any TV series, whatever. When you have a time crunch and you have to get a certain amount of episodes music whatever done in a certain amount of time and of course if you don't get it done yeah you're fucking screwed i get that i've seen it in so many other different like documentaries or like anything everyone has a time crunch and such and i get it it could have been there could have been a lot of stress and maybe you know they took out a lot of parts that wasn't really important but i think for the plot of it maybe it should have been in this but it, it just feels like there's a lot more questions than answers that I have after finishing this. And I hate the fact that it just ends abruptly. Almost every single movie in this series technically kind of ends abruptly. But this one kind of like... Mm. <laughs> I hate to say it, you know what? And I, and I know some people are not going to get this because you've never seen this HBO show. You gave me a Big Little Lies, you know fade to black or um I I've never seen this HBO show the Sopranos where it's like oh yeah and just abruptly like that and then people are fucking pissed about that for years on end or you give me in 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 a way I don't think this series has done it yet and I pray to god that they don't do it don't give me a bullshit ending like Game of Thrones because oh god <laughs> even till today I'm still pissed about that shit but, I mean, for what it was, it was very interesting. Different to have a different character be placed at the front runner and be our main focus for 59 minutes. But then I thought, well, really not even 59 minutes, probably 50 now. But at the same time, you know, who ends at, like, that with, like, umpteen minutes left and you just give me nothing but credits? But for real, it was really good. I thought it was really interesting to see Shiki as like a, a once again, a schoolgirl or really a almost like a nun per so in training possibly because it, that's what it kind of seems like the school was in a way because I mean, yes, you have a church and everything. These girls have classes and it's like that, even though there's not like other teachers or really female teachers who are in like a nun uniform and none of the other characters are calling each other by sister and everything they're calling each other by their actual names or their last names it just the way it like the school looked and everything it gave me a lot of feels towards that but still it's okay it is what it is we about to go on to the murder part two and i'm fucking excited for that because i need ish <laughs> i need my answers on that movie oh Oh. Up, oh, so you just you killed him. Okay, hold up, but then... And now you eating him? What the fuck is going on? We going into cannibalism now? Is he a zombie? I'm confused.
That's um what's his face, right? From last week. Yeah. Okay. So is he now dead? I'm guessing not. Oh, the first of many? What the fuck does that mean? So what is that? Is that the murder Shiki talking about Miki? Or is that the good Shiki talking about Miki? That's all you gonna give me? You gotta be fucking not. Mm 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 That's bullshit. You give me this little, not even a monologue, like just. Well, yeah, we can kind of consider it a little monologue in a way. Um, of it, you give me, um, Kirisugu's other VA, uh, no other character he's voiced. Coming back, because this has to be the moment of when they meet for officially the first time. Now, my question is, going back into this movie, um, God's word. What the fuck happened to him? Did he just, did he get killed by Shiki or he just disappeared? Because, um, one minute him and Shiki are fighting, next minute we're focusing on, um, Azuka. That's it. But there's still a lot of unanswered questions on that. And, and so, like I said, once again, it's not, it, it's a good movie, but it's not the best possible adaptation. And I think I can probably agree with a lot of people, um, have possibly said that maybe this probably isn't their favorite movie out of all eight movies because of the fact is it leaves out a lot of things that should have possibly necessarily been in this movie. As some, like, okay. Because, <laughs> oh god, I hate the fact that I'm about to go on a fucking rant on this. Okay. This is how I feel about when movies, TV shows, and we can now put anime up in this. Because anime has been like this for a while. When you do an adaptation of a book for a TV show, a movie, or an anime. What I have learned throughout the 20 something 20 something years of my life of watching movie adaptations or book adaptations or even manga adaptations or even slash light novel adaptation animes is that um everything that you truly want or really like the big big important things that are very hugely important to you and maybe everybody else is not truly always going to be 
in the series. I get that. I think we all get that 100%. But when it is something that is very important to the plot, like I can't, for an example, fucking Hunger Games. Even up to many years later, even after Hunger Games has been over for like a couple of years, it's been over. Um, in the first movie, a lot of people think that Katniss got the, the Mockingjay pin from the woman when she was selling stuff. No, she got it from the freaking uh, mayor's daughter of District 12 and such. And so as someone who watched the movie first, then read the books and then rewatched the movie with her parents and trying to see, OK, what's the difference between the book adaptation and the real the real fucking source material and then kind of being upset and saying, I still enjoy these movies, but I get it that it's not called the Hunger Games, the book, the movie, or um, the Garden of Sinners, Oblivion Recording, the book, the movie. It is just an adaptation of one of the books called Oblivion Recording. Or even like when I was super obsessed with Twilight just as much as like every fucking girl was at the time when Twilight was big and bad and bougie and shit. And how a lot of people were hella pissed about a lot of things between, I think, what mm, for almost all five but uh, no five um all four mo no all four books all five movies because everybody was shit i knew people in high school who still loved the twilight series as a movie but like at the same time they still hated it because they were like they left out this this that and the third and i get it as someone who, when you're watching something, especially when you are a fan of it and you're really excited to see something um, on the big screen, you, you're one of two things. You are a fan of the series and then you're a critiquer of someone who is really going to be like, okay, this is what I want in the source material and I pray to God that from the source material that this scene and that scene and umpteen million scenes get to have a chance to be in it. And even as like even till today as someone who is both a fan and a critic at the same time even with like movies tv shows um animes whatever it, it is sometimes hard to you know still want to be like <laughs> be like oh my god yay fangirling this is and that and then, and then you're sitting here and you're questioning well why wasn't the fuck that in there why wasn't this in there why wasn't that in there and such and so sometimes like especially when i watch something like okay um, when I watch My Hero, as someone who's read up to a certain point in My Hero, but it's been like two years since I've read that specific chapter, and I don't know what the fuck is going on in like the current series right now. But where we are in that se in this season is what I've already read. So when you, when I'm watching this series now, I'm looking at it not only as like <laughs> it could be like. <laughs> It could be like a, no, it could be a 1% fan, fangirling about this, is that, and the third, and then it's 99.9999999% critiquing about why wasn't this in there? Was that in the manga? I don't really remember. But yeah, I can speak on a lot of people that, yeah, I, I still enjoyed this one, but I think out of all six movies now, this prominently, pro like, predominantly is the weakest one out of all of them now we got two more movies left before i'm done with this series and so i hope that with the the murder part two it murder part two is a little more better than part one like don't get me wrong like part one is good as fuck but i i want part two to end on a really good note to the point where it's like okay now you're gonna understand how part one and part two connect and how part two connects with um spiral last week's movie and then how in the world this is all going to end really because after we're done with murder i don't know how long this last film is going to be for movie eight and what in the world that is entailing and then someone was talking about that there's a recap and such and i don't think i'm gonna watch that because it makes no sense for me to watch a recap movie um and it's a plus i still want to watch the alias special like asap but i mean yeah like i said really enjoyed it for um <laughs> Miki's sister's character. I, I think she did a really good job by herself. I do. I condemn Toko for doing what she was doing and saying what she said to Miki that um, she can handle it because as I said Toko is their trump card. When shit is like really really bad 
that's when Toko comes in. She's kind of like the Gojo sensei of this series, even though I haven't read Jujutsu Kaisen, so please don't spoil me on Jujutsu Kaisen if you know anything about Jujutsu Kaisen, please and thank you. But yeah, she is the Gojo sensei of this series. If it's like to the point where Miki Shiki, um, Asuka herself are in trouble and they're like in deep, deep shit to the point where it's like, oh my god, we can't really do anything else ourselves to possibly defeat this like flower looking thing or any other um type of monster of the week that's when toko comes in and toko has something up her ass where it's like op as fuck and she just takes him out in one instant and we're all sitting here like toko what the fuck did you do like god damn you just too fucking op but i think that's maybe one of the many other reasons why i do like toko a lot still wish that you know we got a little bit more on toko herself because toko is one of those very like besides like shiki miki and everybody else in the series Toko is one of those like hella interesting characters that I want to know almost anything about and I hate the fact that there is nothing else possibly about her out today so I mean damn like uh, <laughs> like seriously if you could give me <laughs> like anything else and we're, we're like mm, let, let's not even talk about this if you could give me like all the fucking spinoffs of fate you could give me a spinoff with any of these characters from this series if you literally was like yeah here's the final movie of heaven's Wheel. we're gonna bring toko in you could give me a fucking spinoff all about her but it's okay they may be not ready they probably busy with like you know demon slayer season two and then um fake grand order the movie well that that's coming out soon but whatever else is after fake grand order so yeah, they could probably they probably have a lot of things on their plate right now, so I get it. Yeah, but like you know, one day and it's gonna be one day. They're gonna freaking do it. I just know it. But other than that, guys, that is where I actually view towards movie six of the Garden of Sinners. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Friday for movie seven. Bye guys.